Them knots is T. Like not a baby hair in sight. Oh my God. somebody else's hair and guess what it's another wine and wigs day clink 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 mm. it's wine and wigs day but i'm drinking tea okay what tea is this this is cinnamon tea i love cinnamon tea y'all let me know what you're drinking down below and baby let me know what you got on your head what you wear because you know what i'm wearing right here it's another wig but baby it's a fully glueless wig with no baby hairs i cannot wait to get into it because this one this one shot me but first before we get into that i haven't done this in a while could y'all subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs girl a brand new attitude and today my attitude is tight this wig is absolutely gorgeous and i want to say thank you to icy hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video because this wig on my head is a m cap wig i'm gonna go ahead and get into the full details of this wig this wig on my head is a nine by six closure m cap wig in the kinky curly texture this wig is 20 inches long 180 percent density and it comes with a medium sized cap we gonna get into the full details of what an m cap wig is so basically when you pop the hood on this wig you can see that it comes with three slide in combs no adjustable straps in the back but it does have a piano key elastic band that is removable and you also can adjust your wig so you can get a nice secure glueless fit so you can throw that head around a little bit baby here see look look baby I rock myself into a tizzy why don't i do that <laughs> so the claims are it matches your ear shape so it does move around the ear here so it's not uncomfortable baby don't look at my unblended makeup it's not your business okay it mimics your forehead contour many knots the lace blends into your skin the lace is pre-cut and basically baby it's easy to wear now they're claiming that you'll be able to pull this wig out of the box and wear it now we're gonna go ahead and test all of these claims or spoiler alert this thing I was impressed that's all i'm saying so we're gonna go ahead and get into how i installed this wig and get into more details on this wig and how i got this look please keep on watching and i'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code okay y'all let's go ahead and get started with the base you already know the base is simple wig grip wig cap this is supposed to be a wig that you can toss on your head so we need to make it as simple as it needs to be so we're gonna go ahead and start with the base okay so that's on i'm gonna pop on a wig cap here boom okay so this is what the m cap wig looks like look y'all see these curls are popping okay and this is inside the cap i don't know why they chose a red strap i just feel like that's obvious so now we're just gonna go ahead and slide this wig on baby that dog is hollering <laughs> okay let's pop on girl girl wait a second first it fits my forehead oh my god it's like some pretty cute wait it's close enough to my ear babes it looks good and this is what the hair looks like so pretty the hairline yes look look at that hairline babes uh, babe girl i needed the easy wig today because i am tired i'm sleepy i just want to go to bed it's that time of the month so i don't even feel like putting my fingertips in some hair girl i want to put my fingertips it's a cornbread <laughs> that tucks right behind the ear it doesn't bother my ear it doesn't hurt and the knots are very very small i want y'all to get into it y'all want me to zoom y'all in i'm gonna zoom y'all in real quick them knots is t mm. either i can lay this down without lace tint but if i want to wear this glueless i need to get some lace tint so i like to use this lace tint this lace tint is from dola hair i got it from amazon i'm in the color medium brown it's a lace tint mousse i add it to the lace spread it out 
it adds color. Now you can also use makeup, but I, uh, the makeup just never matches my skin tone. I don't know what I do, girl. I don't know what it's about. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But we need to use lace tint because lace tint just looks the best. Y'all let me know whether you like lace tint or powder makeup better. And if you do have a powder makeup recommendation, please let me know because I literally can't find one to match my skin tone. Never have, never will, I don't know. A little bit goes a long way, but I tend to do too much, but I wear orange makeup anyways. So I'm gonna use, let's see. A few pumps, mostly across the forehead. You see that? Brush the color in, and I like to concentrate on the front because that's the part that's a giveaway, girl. If the lace don't match up there, then girl, it's never gonna match, okay? So it has to match up in the front. Did what I said just make sense? I don't think it did. Make sure we get it all over, but really concentrate on the front. And then, once this is all spread out, we're gonna use our blow dryer on high and warm to set in and cook in this color. Okay y'all, so the lace tint has been added. The wig is warm and cozy. I don't know what it is, baby. Before you leave the house, put a blow dryer on your on your wig and warm it up, okay? Like a cup of tea. And leave out the, girl, I feel like the feeling. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let's pop the wig on and see if the lace tint is tinting. And babes, I'm telling you this lace tint don't ever steer me wrong, it don't. Sometimes it do. Now that I can wear this and go, I mean, you still can see that it's a wig, but what a lace set though. Oh, this lace tint is tea. Oh, baby, it's tea. Oh, that's tea. Baby, that wig cap ain't. <laughs> that is gorgeousness. Oh, I can't wait. I already know what I'm gonna do with this wig. Okay, so now the only time you can really see lace is when somebody holds their head up like this. But if you look at me from that angle, I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the law. When you look at it from here, great. Fantastic, that's why all the girls be showing the aerial views of their wigs. It always be up here, girl. You wanna flatten this hairline? Yeah, girl, let's flatten it, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and use our wax stick and we're going to flatten the hairline. I kinda don't wanna do too much to the hairline, so these two together. Ooh, keep this away from my face, baby, it's hot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wig back. I'm gonna take my wax stick, push it up. It's giving push pop. <laughs> gonna add the wax to the hairline on both sides this just gets like those little stray hairs out the way I'm gonna take my hot comb I'm gonna turn this all the way up to 450 degrees super duper hot she likes to count up for you girl and we're just gonna use the back of the comb I'm not gonna pull the teeth through because one thing I noticed is that um, for some reason that makes the um, the lace curl <laughs> I don't know what it do to the lace, but it makes the lace curl, so. You see? Just getting the hairs out the way, that's all. Pull the wig back for it. Oh. Yes, girl, T. <laughs> you can see I just added that T into my lexicon and I'm not letting it go. No, I'm not. Now we can go ahead and style the wig. Baby, this is moving really fast. Did we get into this? Somebody had got on me and friend, your attitude was uh-uh. <laughs> but you was right. I do be forgetting about the parting space and every single time I forget. So I guess it was helpful for you to be rude. <laughs> you see that? That's really good all the way back. You see, it stops right here. So that's a, like a lot of parting space and it's bleached all the way back there. Oh yeah, girl. <sighs> I'm wondering if I'm gonna do any cutting. Okay, let me grab my scissors because I'm running my mouth too much. I really am. I really am. Need to get rid of these ends. Y'all know that's just what it is. The ends have got to go, okay? Pull this down here and we're gonna trim. I know y'all can see my wig cap. Don't, <laughs> okay. Cut just the ends. Now the ends aren't bad, but they're a little bit poppy. I don't know, like they kind of pop, which means they just need a little trim, that's all. I only cut off this much. Is that a lot? I don't know. Now for the hair in the front. In the front though. Basically all the hair along the closure, and we're gonna separate it away because we're gonna do like light layer. I know that I get results doing this. So this is for the beginners that don't know how to cut hair. I don't know how to cut hair either, so this is how I like to do it. I like to separate this section because this is the part I'm gonna layer. But I'm gonna separate this section like this. Put this up in a bun, right? Get this out the way. Wow, babes, this is tea. Look at the hairline, that's crazy. Oh my God, like not a baby hair in sight. Oh my God. That hairline, they really put they Big toe in that hairline. <laughs> really, y'all did. So, in order to do layers, 
I'm just gonna take this section in the front. I'm so lazy, baby. I took a whole chunk. Pulled the hair forward. I took the section above the hair and like above the ear and right here, like right at the end of the ear. And I'm just gonna take this hair and then cut it. You can cut it. I'm gonna cut it at an angle, kinda, just like a light angle, nothing too serious. Just so I can get that angular. I feel like that does it every time. I don't know. I wonder if I can like round this out just a little bit. Like take it just so it's not like a blunt cut. Cause baby, I be doing big. And I'm just gonna cut into it like that. So it's not like, I want it more rounded. Oh girl. It's probably Chop Central up in here. I know it is. Do y'all see a difference between this side and this side? And do. So let me do this side. Pull the hair forward. I'm gonna cut it at an angle as well. Like a light angle. Like that. I feel like that's pretty even. Right? Yeah. And then I'm just gonna do what I did with the last side and just angle it downward. Oh, that's not what I did with the last side. That's literally not what I did. This is where I started losing patience with cutting hair. Oh. There you go. Yeah, that's like bouncy enough. I mean, I guess. Okay, now for the top. Y'all already know how I like to do it. Now, usually on the closure, I've noticed that the hair is drier. This closure is no different. The hair feels pretty dry, especially on the ends. Like the hair on the tracks is very, very soft. But the hair on the closure is pretty dry, so she's definitely gonna need a trim on these ends. Like, Cause look, coming through my fingernails or my wide tooth comb, I'm gonna chop it down. Cut it right there. That's cut off. And I take the scissors and then I take the tip and then I cut and trim and so I'm gonna part twice small. So I part once. So I'm gonna cut off just a little bit less. Wow, that was dangerous. Wow. Cut a little bit less off here. And I'm gonna cut there. It's about the same amount, right? Oh girl, it's getting short. Okay. Well, do a little bit of point cutting here so it's not so blunt. I'm gonna do one last, one last cry. Okay. There we go. Okay. 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 It's giving round. It's giving cute. What you think? Girl, it's cute. I like it. Oh my God, there's hair all over my lap. Next, what I need to do is go ahead and add some mousse. When I tell you this is moving faster than I thought she would, this is crazy. I know y'all are waiting for, let me go ahead and do this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead just to conceal this part because I feel like it's gonna get on everybody's nerves and y'all gonna talk about me. Um, I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix Stick Foundation. Now this is great for parts for me. And I'm just gonna take this concealer brush and I'm just gonna go in where the part is and conceal what y'all are seeing here. There go. It's doing a lot, but it's all right. Don't even worry about it. Girl, we're gonna have to redo it anyway, so. You have such beautiful hair. And I would say thank you very much. I use rice water. In order to define these curls, I'm gonna use my favorite mousse. I have two favorite mousses that I like to use. The Mousse Def Texture Foam Mousse love that stuff add some water to it it's great it's thick and you get a lot of bang for your buck especially if you water it down but this one is my tried and true favorite this is my shea moisture coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse i love using this on my curly wigs it is amazing so i'm gonna part this hair in the middle i'm gonna take this clip the hair away and we're gonna start on this side so i'm gonna section away this hair and I like to work in sections. Now you can put the mousse all over the hair, but baby, that's not how I work here. Okay, we try and saturate the strands and then mousse it on up. When I tell you this is how you get the best curls, I don't care, argue with me, argue with whoever you want to, but I can't hear you, okay? I like to take my mousse and add the mousse to the hair. 
Y'all, if y'all been here before, I wonder if y'all get sick of me doing this, but I do this every time. This is how I do my curly wigs. And when I tell you, you get the best curls every time and they fluffable. Oh my God. So I take my Evolve 7 2 brush and I detangle and oh my God. It's got some knots back here. Hold on. There it go. I keep saying there it go and there she is. <laughs> okay. Comb it through the hair. And there you go. You see the curls? I, you can't tell me these ain't the best curls, girl. You see how these curls act? Girl, they know how to act. Let me just, I'm going to squeeze out the excess just so I don't have to wait so long to dry this hair because sometimes it'll be taking a long time to dry this hair with the Shea Moisture Mousse. Squeeze out a little bit of the excess and move on to the next curl. So we're going to do this throughout the head and then I'm going to blow dry it with my diffuser on high and warm and I may just pop this wig off and place her on my wig head and, let, uh, and allow her to dry as well. We'll see. Let's keep going. Hey y'all, I'm hopping in here to do my little styles with my wigs. Y'all know I love doing these with the glueless wigs. I'm going to start out with a simple little style. I don't think I've tried this one before, but I felt like it would be perfect for this closure style. It's basically pulling this hair back in a claw clip. And when I tell you, it's super duper cute, really easy, and it keeps your hair out of your face. I just pull it back and I just add a claw clip to it. Girl, I don't even know. This is not a tutorial, baby. It's just simple. But I wanted to show you how good the lace looks. It looks so realistic. You could see it on the sides a little bit, but not too much. Just put a little hair out, you'll be all right. It looks simple, easy, classy. It's real sophisticated, like, and I love how the curls look with this. So we're gonna try out her second style, which you already know what it is. It's a half up, half down friend. So we're going to put up some of the hair now because this wig is a closure wig you need to leave some hair down on the side i mean you could show your your scalp and your closure if you want to but i'm not doing that i don't want the girls to clock me so i'm gonna put the hair up in a half up half down style and i'm just gonna use like a tiny little rubber band and that's it baby those curls are popping the hairline looks amazing and it's so cute look you don't need baby hair enough look at that it looks gorgeous now we can go ahead and figure out what our next style is going to be i didn't want to do another updo style i just wanted to see what a side part would look like after i took down this ponytail but i'm just going to shift the weed a little bit you see it shift it a little bit and that's how you get a side part baby just you a whole new girl girl you can go from day to night middle part to side part boom that's it and you can see how the lace blends seamlessly into my natural hairline like it looks so pretty so gorgeous but i think i love the middle part the best y'all let me know which style is your favorite okay y'all this is a finished look without baby hairs look <laughs> how pretty this is this is crazy no baby hairs no nothing no nothing what you can kind of see like right here the lace is kind of lifting like you can see it but like not really like not from the side but from the front but we're gonna do like a shake test real quick wait let me switch up the size yeah this way is fine okay oh did my wig move no ma'am the wig is in the same spot, friend. This is insane. I'm in love with it. I love how the wig looks without the baby hairs. Like I'm tempted to do baby hairs, but 
we don't need them. So like, why would I do it? Cause you could just pop on the wig and go. And look at how these curls are so bouncy. The hair feels very, very soft, like very soft. Oh, look at those curls. They feel very soft. Remember I told you the hair on the closure was a little dry. It doesn't feel dry at all now. It's really soft, really bouncy. It feels just like the bundles. I'm not sure if it'll dry out later, but right now for today, it feels very, very soft. Let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts on this wig. I think the hair is very, very soft. The hairline is pre-plugged. It's super, super easy to install. The lace is very HD, thin and seamless. So it blends right into the skin. I don't even need baby hair. I don't need to tack it down. I can wear it glueless and it still look very, very seamless with and without makeup. I love how they pre-plugged it and the knots are bleached. It really is a super duper easy wig to install. This is the closest thing I got to wearing a wig out of the pack, I feel like. Really, she's doing her own thing. She don't even need me. <laughs> All of those things make it super duper easy and perfect for beginners. Okay, when it's glueless like this, babe, it leaves me speechless. And baby, not much leaves me speechless, girl. I, I'ma run my mouth, <laughs> but look. Y'all let me know what you think about this unit down below. Have you tried the MCAP wig before? I will leave a link to this unit as well as the coupon code down in the description box below. Y'all go ahead and check it out. I'm not leaving y'all hanging without a coupon code. I feel like that's rude and that's sad. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.